Because of pretty strict FDA submission guidelines for stents, we already have a few pieces of solution information that we're already looking to gather. Such things as recoil percentage, which is the percentage that the stent will deform back to its original shape after expansion. The peak stress, which is the maximum stress at the maximum expansion. And then the residual stress, which will be the stress that's left over after it collapses and then the stent deforms. So first, to measure recoil percentage, we'll go to solution and we'll insert deformation directional. Under geometry, we'll go to point selector and then we'll select either this vertex or this vertex on the stent. Apply. And then orientation is x-axis and the polar coordinate system. So now we're reading the deformation along the radial direction. Then to get the stresses, we'll right click insert equivalent bottom easy stress. And we'll leave this for all bodies. Mostly we're interested in just the stresses inside the stent. Then I'll also add just another deformation total for all bodies. That way we can see what happens as the stent interacts with the balloon as it expands and the stent starts to contract in inward. And then we hit solve.